What's going on guys, BSD Spear here back with another Destiny video and in today's video we're continuing our series Lost Exotics where we're showing you guys uh, specifically the newer Guardians of the game, I'm talking year 2, year 3 Guardians, um, maybe even year 1 that might not know this but uh, it's intended for newer Guardians uh, to show you guys how to get the lost exotics of the game. I'm talking all the exotics from year 1 and 2 um, that you can't get from 3 of coins, exotic engrams, and Zerd does not sell these weapons. Uh, so, we're going to be showing you guys how to get the Boolean Gemini. The Boolean Gemini, it's an exotic scout rifle um, from the Taken King expansion. Um, that's right, so because it's in the Taken King expansion, that means it can be infused up to 400 light, which is the current max light level. Um, so we're going to be showing you all the steps uh, that you need to acquire this gun. Now the steps, uh, they're not very difficult, it's actually one of the more easier exotics to get. However, um, the quests themselves are quite lengthy, so I'm going to try to break it down uh, simple enough to where you guys can understand it, um, but not simple enough to where I'm showing you just everything because it can take a little bit of time. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video, How to Get the Boolean Gemini. As always, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new here, and thanks for watching. Let's get to the video. Alright, so first things first, if you haven't already completed the main story quest of the Taken King, talking regicide uh, is the last mission, if you haven't completed that already, make sure you do that, or these quest steps won't even become available until you do so. Um, so make sure you complete that. Um, let's go ahead and get into the first quest. Alright, so the first quest you're going to need can actually be grabbed from Petra at the Reef. So go ahead and go there and talk to her to actually get the first quest. The Taken War Petra is a long and tedious quest line, basically repeating the same thing over and over again. All you have to do is hop into patrol at Earth, Venus, and Mars and defeat two of the Taken champions that spawn in. Uh, so basically the way that you get these champions to spawn in, anywhere that there is Taken that spawn, uh, defeat the lieutenants. If you defeat three of them within a given time frame, it'll spawn in the champions. Um, so as you can see here, here's some gameplay from Mars and Venus. Um, basically just doing the same thing over and over again, and that's going to complete this quest line. Uh, if you need help um, on a guide of where to find these enemies, um, it does tell you on the quest steps. Uh, where you can find them in patrol mode. So just hop in there, kill the lieutenants, which are the majors, the yellow bar health. Um, kill three of them within a time frame, and you'll get the champions to spawn in no time. Uh, so once you complete the Taken King Petra, go ahead and talk to her uh, to turn in the last uh, quest step. Um, the fused tombstone you get from the champions. And then now you can see bounties become available. That's going to be key in the next step. Uh, once you do that, go ahead and hop over to Barracks. Uh, talk to him to grab the second quest step that you need to get the Boolean Gemini, the Wolves of Mars. The first part to the Wolves of Mars quest line, you have to go to Moon, uh, Venus, and Earth and defeat fallen enemies. That's all you have to do. Um, so what I did is I actually took it upon myself and was doing some of the previous quest lines and story missions that I hadn't completed on my Hunter yet. Um, just to kind of multitask. It really doesn't matter. All you have to do is kill Fallen in these three areas uh, to complete the first step. The next step is you have to hop into patrol and go to the Rubicon Wastes. Um, this is going to be where an Archon Priest spawns in. So right when you go through the first door um, in Rubicon Wastes, just stick to the left um, past all these rocks. And once you hit this little, um, I guess, tower spire thing with this rock, um, this is going to be the area that the Archon Priest will spawn in. Um, now it's just like a public event like with the Taken and stuff, so all you have to do is wait um, until he spawns in. It'll say a pack of wolves is prowling, and then head over to this rock, and that's where you can find the Archon Priest. Go ahead and kill him, uh, and then you'll get the next quest step. So from here on out, the quest steps get a lot easier. Um, 
basically once you turn that quest step in, uh, you'll get a series of new uh, story missions on Mars that you have to complete. You'll get a new den, knock knock, and the final quest step for the Wolves of Mars, Prime's Path. So once you complete these three story missions, um, then you can actually uh, complete the Wolves of Mars and continue on to the third quest step that you have to get, uh, which is Lost and Found. So once you complete the Wolves of Mars quest, in order to get the Lost and Found one, you do have to wait until the next day. Um, it doesn't have to be on reset, however, you do have to wait a few hours, uh, depending on what time of the day it is, uh, to get the next quest step. So for this quest, it's actually one of the easiest quests out of the three. Um, you just hop into patrol, and all you have to do is kill Hive um, in three areas. You have to kill Hive in the Hull Breach, the Mausoleum, and the Hall of Souls. Hall of Souls I saved for last because that's actually where the next quest step is. Once you complete all the Hive, the next quest step is simple. All you have to do is kill enemies in the Court of Oryx, which I actually got at the same time. Um, so as, as you can see there, search the Court of Oryx. Um, went ahead and completed just a normal, a basic uh, reciprocal rune, um, and then you'll get that quest complete. Alright, which brings us to the final step to get the Boolean Gemini. You have to reach rank 3 in the Queen's Wrath uh, reputation. Uh, so what you'll want to do is grab those bounties we mentioned earlier, uh, grab them as soon as you can, as soon as possible. Uh, you're going to want to complete these bounties every week. Um, in total, the bounties, depending on what they are, uh, they can equal up to about 1300 rep um, so between the quest line and doing them your first week all six bounties you can reach rank two um, the first week that the bounties are available um, so it could take you a couple weeks just keep doing on, on reset and you'll be able to reach rank three in hopefully no time the bounties are fairly simple most of them uh, require uh, certain elemental kills um, kills on the dreadnought defeating taken uh, some of them have you going into the Prison of Elders, Challenge of the Elders, um, that kind of thing. Or just killing Taken in Strikes. Um, so, really, the, the bounties themselves, they're not that difficult, but definitely grab them and work on them while you're working on the rest of your stuff uh, within Destiny. So, once you finally reach Rank 3 and you've completed all three of the quests, um, the Boolean Gemini is yours. Just go over to the Reef, talk to Petra, and she'll have it available for you. Now you can reach rank 3 before you complete the other quests, it is possible. Um, however, um, because you can't get the bounties until you complete the first quest, um, I would just do the quests uh, in order. Um, so like I said, it's, it's an easy gun to get, however it is very lengthy just because of how many quests you have to complete. Alright, so there you go guys, that's how you get the exotic Scout Rifle Boolean Gemini, another lost exotic from year 2 in the bag. Uh, thank you so much for watching, as always drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new here, and I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to all the new fans and welcome to the channel, welcome to the Spear Squad, um, we've done it, we actually broke a thousand subs, that's just crazy and mind blowing. Um, it's actually doubled since my last uploaded video, so thank you so much. Um, share this video with your friends. Um, if you enjoy it, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoy this series, um, if this video helped you out, what you would like to see from this channel. Would you like to see more PvP, PvE? Uh, let me know your thoughts and concerns. Thank you so much again. Welcome to the Spear Squad, all of you beautiful people. Thank you so much, um, and I'll catch you guys next time.